Curtis Dykstra, Parks Naturalist with Ottawa County Parks. Thanks for tuning in. Observing a snowy owl is a thrilling experience for any person, whether they're a birder, photographer, or not. These beautiful and iconic birds can be observed in West Michigan in winter with some dedication of time, work, and a bit of luck too. I still vividly remember seeing my first snowy owl at the Muskegon Wastewater Facility in December 2005. Flying with snow buntings and sitting out on the frozen lagoon blended in with the ice. And then sharing the experience with my own family in 2011 on the pier at New Buffalo. In my experience as a birder, I've seen snowy owls many times. As thrilling as each sighting is, we must remember that observing snowy owls must come with caution. As human stewards of these majestic owls, we are responsible to respect the owls by putting their needs ahead of our own desires to see them or photograph them up close. So how do we do that? Here are some guidelines for safely finding and viewing snowy owls. There are several good locations to search for snowy owls in West Michigan, including the Muskegon Wastewater Facility, but do remember that a permit is necessary to bird on the property there. Also, the open farmlands near both Coopersville and in the Holland Zealand area. Finally, the Ford International Airport from the viewing deck can also be a good place to look for snowy owls. When out searching for owls, find areas that are as open and devoid of trees as possible. Drive slowly on non-highway dirt farm roads, searching the ground, fence posts, utility poles, and building roofs for perched snowy owls. Be aware that they typically don't perch in trees, although it's not impossible. Searching is best when there is no snow cover, as the owls stand out much more prominently. However, watch out for the deceiving white plastic bags, buckets, or chunks of ice and snow. When snow covers the ground, it can be that much more of a challenge to find a snowy owl. The piers on Lake Michigan shoreline are also good spots to look for snowy owls, as they are often used during migration in November and December, and then again in March. When you eventually spot a snowy owl, there are a few things to keep in mind to view the owl safely. The first and perhaps most important rule of safe snowy owl viewing is to view from a distance. Notice that we're viewing from the road and you can barely make out a white speck in the middle of the farm field, which is in fact a snowy owl. Never approach or flush roosting owls. Although they may be out and visible during the day, making it seem as if they're active, they are actually nocturnal, which means they are trying to rest during daylight hours. A constant barrage of disturbance keeps the owls alert and unable to rest. This causes them to be unnecessarily expending energy that would otherwise be used to keep warm or to hunt for food. With binoculars or a scope, you can be afforded a much better view of a distant bird and keep the bird relaxed. This is important as it prevents you from approaching the owl for a closer view. Staying in your car can also help as it can be used as a blind from which you can view and take pictures. If you are exiting your car, park on the correct side of the road and turn your engine off. Then exit slowly, quietly, and if possible, use the side of the car that is out of view of the owl. While viewing from outside, stick close to your vehicle and use it as a blind while making sure to keep your movements slow and voices quiet. It's always good to limit your time with and potential disturbance to the owl, as you will likely not be the only one viewing it. When you do run into other people, encourage them to practice safe viewing 
and help them to do so when necessary by lending your scope or by giving some pointers. Always be respectful when correcting any behavior that is unsafe for the owl. And remember the golden rule to treat others as you want to be treated yourself. And of course, always respect private property, fences, and signs. Another behavior that deserves mention is enticing owls using bait food, such as mice. This behavior is detrimental and puts owls at risk to pathogens carried by the non-wild food source. Additionally, owls that are repeatedly fed by people become habituated to humans, which can cause unnecessary dependence, reducing natural instincts for hunting. It may also encourage the birds to frequent areas that may be harmful to them, such as highways where they can be struck by cars. Owl calls or making squeaky mouse noises have also been used to gain the attention of owls, often in an attempt to get a photo of the owl looking at the camera. But this constant barrage of disturbing sounds during daylight hours keeps the owls alert and unable to properly rest. Snowy owls also have a distaste for dogs, so make sure to leave yours at home. While safely viewing snowy owls, be sure to watch the behavior of the bird for signs of stressful reactions to your presence. Different owls have different tolerances, so don't treat them all the same. If the bird is behaving in a relaxed manner, great, but if the bird indicates it is stressed, it is time to back off or to leave. Here are some behaviors that indicate both relaxed and stressed owls, as gleaned from the International Owl Center website. Relaxed owls often have eyes shut and the bird seems to be sleeping, as indicated with the lower eyelid being shut. If eyes are open, but the upper lid is slightly relaxed, so the eyes are not fully round and it is not looking at you, it also indicates it is relaxed. Its body and feather posture will also be relaxed. It may be preening or stretching and it may even actively be hunting. On the other hand, stressed owls exhibit the following behaviors. Their eyes may be wide open, fully round and looking at you. Rapid blinking means back off or go away. Its body posture could be erect and alert. It may be in concealment posture with eyes open only as slits, body feathers compressed and ear tufts erect. And yes, snowy owls have tiny ear tufts. If it's readying to fly, it may posture with bobbing head, with wings parted from the side of its body. Most daytime flying indicates disturbance. As with most people, the sighting of a snowy owl is something you want to share. However, with the emergence of websites such as eBird and social media outlets such as Facebook, snowy owl sightings can go viral very quickly. The further the word spreads, the more likely it is for more people to go looking for the owl. Practice much caution when posting sightings in order to not attract a detrimental amount of disturbing activity for any snowy owls that may be wintering here in West Michigan. I hope you enjoy your adventures to find a snowy owl and can now know how to do it in a safe and respectful manner. Remember, respect the owls by putting their needs ahead of your own desires to see them or photograph them up close. For more information on viewing snowy owls, check the links in the description of the video. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope to see you next time out on the birding trail. Thank you.